Hey there folks, this is Elias Kinesar and the following demonstration is from my Citrix Zen App 6 training course. What am I missing? Why am I not able to see any applications? It's obvious that I'm properly connected, so the communication is there, everything is cool, the installation was successful, what am I missing? So if anyone said, well, you don't have access to any applications, then you guys are absolutely correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch back over to XA01 and we are going to launch our delivery services console under the applications let's see if I have access to CNN so I'm gonna right click on CNN go to application properties and we're gonna to go to users now you'll notice I must the the user I'm logged in with onto Encom client must not be part of read-only so what I'm gonna do is click on add and let's go ahead and do Encom here and go ahead and add that particular user Now to make it easy, what I'm going to do is just add users here. We're going to do ncom, and we're going to do backslash administrator. Right, let's go ahead and click on OK. Let's click on OK here and here. Now is there an easier way for me to, to do this? Instead of adding users manually one by one to applications, what did we do in the beginning? So let's go to WinWar here, and let's go to Application Properties. If we go to users, you'll notice that I've added a group. So if you go into Active Directory and add that particular user to this particular Active Directory group, well, then that user would automatically get access to that application. And they wouldn't have to come in here and specifically grant access to a particular user in this case. But since we've already gone through this now, let's go ahead and see if we can go back to Encom client 01 and see if we can refresh applications now. So what I'm going to do up here is up arrow again, right click on the icon, application refresh, and let's see what happens this time. And voila. Now we have access to CNN and we have access to WinRAR. Now here's another question for you. Why don't we have access to FileZilla? We, uh, we gave the user access to FileZilla, so I know it's not a permissions issue. The user has access to it. What's the problem? Well, the problem is that FileZilla is a streamed application. In order for you to have access to a streamed application, you have to install the offline plugin, which is what we're going to do next. But before that, if you wanted to launch WinRAR at this point, you can click on the icon. And there you go. Now you've just launched WinRAR on this particular client without actually having to install it on this client. Now we can further customize this by pushing WinRAR to the desktop or putting WinRAR into the start menu. So if I wanted to push it to my desktop and I wanted to push it to the start menu, let's go back into the application properties and see how I would do that. So I'm going to go back to XA01. On the delivery services console, what we're going to do is right click on WinRAR go to application properties here and we're going to drag down to shortcut presentation now here what I'm gonna do is hey I wanna push this to the start menu and I wanna put it in a folder called Citrix applications and I also wanted you to display this on the desktop so what's gonna happen now is the WinRAR application is going to be put into a folder in the start menu called Citrix Applications and it's also going to be displayed on the user's desktop. So if I click on OK and we switch back over here to Encom Client, let's go ahead and click the up arrow again, right click, let's do Application Refresh here, and voila. You'll see that it automatically showed up here. Now let's see if it's also in my programs here. Citrix applications and voila. WinRAR is now in Citrix applications. Now you notice that CNN and the community desktop are also showing up, which means they are not being pointed or they're not being directed to be installed or to be located under the Citrix applications folder. So let's go ahead and remedy that. So if I switch back to XA01 and let's go ahead and start with the community desktop application properties. Let's go down here to shortcut presentation and we want this to show up under Citrix applications 
click on OK. And let's also do the same thing for CNN here. And we're going to click on OK. Now let's go back to Encom Client. Let's do the up arrow, right click. Let's do Application Refresh. And let's see if it reorganized things. So all programs, Citrix applications, voila. It can figure it everything. Now you're probably looking at it and saying, "Hey, hello, boy genius! They're still up there." So this is this is about to become a little tricky. So I need you guys to follow along just a little closer here. So remember when we were talking about installing the online plugin? It's sort of like a mixture of technically two clients that are installed. One client is the Zenapp plugin, which you can use without a web interface server. So you can use by deploying the, the application onto a desktop like we did launch applications all day long you don't need a web interface site now the other option was to interface to connect with a Zen app services site and you saw how we put in the address of our web interface services site and connected and that gave you this little icon down here which interfaces with what's happening on web interface so what we need to do now is that you have two portions of the plugin pushing applications down to the desktop and we have to organize them properly now pay attention to what's happening here there's no folder here right all right and we want to get rid of the icons that are showing up on the start menu here that the PN agent so to speak is pushing down so let's go back to XA01 on the delivery services console if I right click CNN and drag down to application properties let's go into shortcut presentation so the section down here configures just the Zenapp plugin features. So you're organizing the applications that the Zenapp plugin is displaying. If you create a folder up here, what's happening is you're creating a folder within web interface. So when a user opens a web browser, goes to web interface, logs in, they will see that particular folder. Now remember, the PN agent plugin that we installed interfaces with, with web interface. So whatever folder you put here, that agent is going to be able to see it. If you wanted to organize your applications under Citrix applications so they're in the same place, you can just organize them like this and click on OK. And let's do the same thing for community desktop. Got to go down here to shortcut presentation. And let's take a look at the properties of WinRAR. WinRAR doesn't have it, and we're going to keep it that way. Let's go back to our Encom client 01 and see what happens when we do an application refresh. And let's try and see what happened now. Right click, applications, voila. So we created a folder that shows up on web interface this particular client automatically grabbed it and organized CNN that way you'll notice we didn't do that for WinRAR so WinRAR still remains in the root and I also wanted to show you that desktops are organized differently than applications and resources so desktops will always show up under the desktop folder and applications and resources under here so let's go see what happened on the start menu now if we click on all programs well it's gone from up there it's consolidated all of the applications down here now you'll notice WinRAR is still here again because we did not specify WinRAR we left it specifically outside of that folder all right so now let's focus our attention on how we can display the streamed applications also as part of our application availability so I'm gonna double click on the folder here and we're just gonna go through a very simple installation of the offline plugin now the difference between the online plugin and the offline plugin is you'll notice the offline plugin has a couple prompts that it prompts you for whereas the online plugin went very quickly click on next you're going to accept license agreement you're gonna accept the path or change it and bada bing bada boom that's all you need to do basically for the offline plugin now it might prompt you for a reboot after the installation is complete.
And there it is. We're going to click on yes. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.